In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how pieces fit together within Canvas when you are trying to use a Learning Mastery Gradebook. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how assignments, outcomes, rubrics, and the Learning Mastery Gradebook all fit together. Outcomes are similar to standards. Standards are what we use to make up rubrics. Rubrics are used to assess assignments, and assignments show evidence of student proficiency. Student proficiency, the different levels, are described in outcomes, and then the proficiency over time is tracked in the Learning Mastery Gradebook to show how students are progressing over time. Where did they start? Where did they go? And where ultimately did they end up? So this is a pretty powerful tool to use. It can be a little bit overwhelming to see how the puzzle pieces fit together, but once you have it, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I like to begin by adding an outcome. For example, here is an image of one of the outcomes I have added into Canvas. The next step is to create an assignment. This particular assignment is for an initial model. And note that this particular assignment does not count toward a final grade. The next step is to add a rubric using outcomes. Here we are looking at an assignment that I have given to my students. Once I have created this assignment, I can come down and select the Add Rubric. When I add the rubric, it's helpful to give it a title. I give the rubric the title of the assignment. Next, I will need to find an outcome. I will be using outcomes that are in my light unit. I will be using all of the outcomes in this light unit. But to do that, I simply select the outcome and then scroll down and hit import. I do not need this free form criterion, so I'm simply going to delete it. I will continue this process going down and adding each of the outcomes by selecting the outcome and hitting import. I have now added all four of the outcomes that I want in my rubric. Next, I like to use this rubric for assignment grading. So I will click this button here, and then I select Create Rubric. Once I'm in my grades, I can select the assignment. I see here that so far, one student has turned in this assignment. I am going to, however, go down to my test student I will then select Speed Grader. From Speed Grader, whether or not your student has submitted their assignment online or on paper, you can view the rubric. Based on what the student has submitted, I will evaluate their current level of proficiency. So let's say that my fictitious student gets these particular proficiency levels. I can then hit Save. The student has a score, 4 out of 16, but more specifically, they have been evaluated using each of these outcomes. Back at my traditional gradebook, I can see that this student got a 4 out of 16, but because it is not counted toward the final grade, the assignment, which is part of our light unit, does not receive any sort of scoring. This does not change their percentage. It's simply the number of points that they got as they align with their rubric scoring. When I click over to the Learning Mastery Gradebook, I am able to see the student scores. If I click on an individual student, in this case my test student, I am able to see the grades for my student. I can see their score, 
and I can see what the total points possible are. I still see all of the traditional information that we're able to view in our traditional gradebook. But what's different is that if I go into Learning Mastery, this is where I will be able to see how my student has done over time. So for example, I just assessed my fictitious student on this light initial model. So if I click on this unit three, I am able to see the four outcomes that are part of this light unit. And I am also able to see how many alignments each of these particular standards have with a variety of assignments. And then I can see the score that my student has gotten. I can go back and look, and if there are more than one alignment, I am able to see what the, those alignments are over time. So for example, with this student, they received a one, a two, and then something that is not yet assessed. There are also three alignments for this particular assignment, and I can see that the student got a two and a four. In this video, we have shown the relationship between assignments, learning mastery, outcomes, and rubrics so that we can better understand how to use both the traditional gradebook and the learning mastery gradebook to best communicate our students' learning in our classes. In summary, why? Why should we take the time to learn these strategies? Well, I believe that when we use assignments that are assessed using rubrics, which are built from outcomes, we have the capability to simultaneously provide traditional points and standard specific proficiency. This is such a unique opportunity and it allows us to lift the veil and be fully transparent. This in turn will allow us to support those pillars of grading for equity, accuracy, motivation, and bias resistance.